Hi there. I'm Emily Kane, yoga teacher and owner of Yoga Kara, a little yoga studio right in the heart of Whistler Village. I am one of the store ambassadors for Lululemon right here in Whistler, and I'm doing a little Q&A today so you can get to know me a little bit better. It's really hard to pick a favorite, especially since I do a lot of activities, some of which are outside, like hiking uh, and snowboarding. But for my primary activity being yoga, I would say my favorite piece of clothing is the Align Pant. These are like miracle pants. I am 6'2", and my sister, who also owns a pair, she's 5'9", but they fit us in length for both of us. Like, their level of stretch is incredible, and they feel amazing, plus they stay in place. I highly, highly recommend this for any yoga practitioner. My favorite shape is Shavasana, hands down. Corpse Pose, the final resting shape. This posture is magical. I think in terms of the benefits that it has physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, there is nothing that even compares to this shape. Uh, if we're looking at more active postures, I really love headstand. It took me a really long time to get headstand, and I think it's just so fun to get upside down. And then in terms of relaxation, really deep restorative work, I absolutely love doing supportive backbends. Snowboarding, for sure. I grew up skiing. I started skiing when I was about four years old and I switched over to snowboarding when I was a teenager, around the same time I found yoga, actually. And I've been a snowboarder ever since. Last year, I had a huge goal of doing 100 days of snowboarding, which I had never done before, but had always wanted to do. And I reached my goal. I had 110 days, which is pretty crazy. Uh, this year, I started split boarding. I had tried it a few times other seasons, but I really got motivated to do it this year. Uh, and I'm going to make sure to do lots of hot trips next year, and I'm super excited. The biggest misconception in yoga is that I'm not flexible enough, I'm not strong enough. I think these comments are kind of hilarious because if you are a person with a body that has some level of conscious control, then you can do yoga. You don't have to be the ultra flexible, you don't have to be the ultra strong. Anyone can practice yoga. One of my teachers, in fact, is a quadriplegic in a wheelchair. So there's really no excuse to, as to why you can't practice yoga. There might just be certain types of yoga that are better for you to practice than others. My husband, Kevin, and I have one cat. Her name is Callie, and she loves being involved in everything that we do at home, including my yoga practice. She's here right now, just cuddling patiently while all these videos are happening. It's great. <laughs> I'm a firm believer that it's the deeper values of yoga that anchors me back to living my yoga every single day. So the values that we are taught in our yoga practice, the values that we are taught on our mat and how that translates off of our mat too. So that when situations and things do come up, that you can look at it through a lens of that yoga, through a lens of those values. Even day to day, like little simple things, just looking at opportunities to become a little bit more present, a little bit more aware, and a little more seated in our truth, which is who we really are. My mantra changes but currently my mantra one that i've been coming back to a lot lately is just to take things day by day especially during a time right now when we're in a world of covid 19 i have a lot of people coming to me as a studio owner and wondering when the studio is reopening and wondering what's going on with the studio and the thing is i don't really know and most people don't know right now and so to take things day by day and to take things logically, to lead with my heart, that 
really is a big part of my mantra is to stay fully present because sometimes it's easy to try and jump ahead and make up stories about what's going to happen in the future or to dip into the past and start thinking about that. But really right now, it is so, so important to stay fully present. 